Do you feel the pressure? Do you feel the How's it going everyone? OM Phenom, OM Trickster, back with some more MK11 talk. Um, today we're going to be talking about the stress test beta that we got to play and also some news in the MK11 community. So uh, Cole, or Trickster, um, whatever people want to call you, <laughs> um, go ahead and uh, give your impressions. Uh, yeah, so uh, first off, I guess I'll just start with um, the good um, about this game. Um, so first off this uh the game is great it's the most polished best looking gameplay wise visual wise game that nrs has put out probably any fighting game i think to date and it's a lot of fun there's a lot of new mechanics that go in and work with it really well and there's a lot of new stuff that kind of doesn't feel right yet um some of the stuff that feels really well are the quick hops i love um that quick hop into that overhead that every character is going to have even if the character doesn't have any other overheads are always going to have that and it's definitely a good footsie tool for the corner or if any opponent likes to just poke you with down three which i think we all can agree that that happened a lot too often in mkx and this is kind of their response to it i think and it's a lot of fun and then you know when you read your opponent you knock them down it's always a great feeling right. um the crucial blow system is fantastic somewhat there's still some crucial blows that don't really make a lot of sense on their requirements um which the requirements aren't listed yet but pretty much everybody's cracked down what they are some of them require a back two three times consecutively which is kind of useless okay. <laughs> not really going to connect and it's pretty easy to tell what they're going for when they're just constantly doing that so but all in all they do different things and like everybody has the uppercut crushing blow that leads to a calm one does massive damage and just looks fucking amazing um so i really like that yeah but going into what's that the crushing blows are really i mean that's probably my favorite mechanic so far yeah um some of them also have like a lot of dot damage after it, which can kind of also be a gripe to see a lot of different characters having that ability to leave people with like a combo like say baraka does 46 percent, but his crushing blow at the end of it also leaves them with like 10 percent, 15 percent of dot damage afterwards so you can pretty much say that baraka has like a 50 60 percent combo um using two bars of meter right yeah it's pretty crazy like i'm just hoping if it is just baraka it's just baraka or just like scarlet like i'm just hoping not everybody has a fatal blow that does Dot. like that'd be right. ridiculous like i just think it's certain just, characters should have it exactly it's just hard to tell because we only got three characters right. um with scarlet Braca, and scorpion over the weekend um but now into some of the gripes um well what my first biggest initial one was the movement was that forward dashes in a game that can be kind of dominated with low health bars and characters who have zoning options like Braca or scarlet it can be really hard to get across the screen not having that run or having a teleport um, with your character can really, it sucked. <laughs> but today on the stream of the comic cast, we got that they're increasing the movement speed all around um, with different things, but mostly forward dashes, recovery and speed. So that's good to see. And it might even lead to like maybe combo extensions or something like that. I don't know. Right. We'll see. Yeah. Maybe like some MK9 dash cancels. Really interesting to see how that'll be implemented. Yeah. Um, number two, biggest gripe about it so far is the fatal blow system. Only in the retrospect of that, it's if you miss or if you hit, but it's a it's a blocked fatal blow, um, it'll recharge after a little bit. You can't use it for a little bit, but it'll come back within the same round and you can use it again. So you're using your super move more than once in one round where you have low health and even if it gets blocked, even if you whip, it comes back. And I think it should kind of be um, maybe just altered a little bit to maybe only one use per round would probably do it, I think. Would make the most sense. Um, on whiff, it needs to be a little bit more unsafe, I think. All right. Maybe not, but I mean, if, if they were to leave it how it is, then it needs to be more unsafe For on sure. block and, and hit. Yeah, because people are just throwing it out there, like on wake up, on every, like every. I mean, it, 
there's no reason not to because it's safe completely safe yep. there's you got armor i mean there's no reason just not to abuse it so i think there should be a little uh more risk when trying to throw it out there make for better plays and uh make you think a little more yeah exactly and uh any more any more gripes or concerns so far mm, i don't think we talked about the flawless block yet um right. that new mechanic as well where if someone goes to hit you and you tap the right trigger or the block um you'll get a flawless block and then if you up two you can uh launch them with a down two pretty much and then i think it's like down three or something it does like a hard knockdown but nobody uses that obviously because you want the launcher to get a full combo um and with people who have a lot of safe strings there's a lot of gaps in them so you could just wait um tap the block button and then just totally punish them and get a full combo just because they used a safe string <laughs> so i think that right. kind of needs some work uh, especially for good right. players like um sonic fox and all the competitive players um i already saw it, like he had it down pack like they're gonna get really good and it, it only was out for two days like <laughs> and he already had oh, flawless yeah. block down pack and he was punching yeah, the shit I, out of people i definitely think that it's it's uh needs to be in the game it's a good addition to the game being that this one's not going to be a mix up heavy there's going to be exceptions to that i mean there's going to be characters that can still mix your shit but they're not going to mix you into 50 percent. hopefully <laughs> i mean we might see like a mix up into a fatal blow or something like that but nothing like you know with it being so cheap to use i think just only one bar of defensive meter um i think it just needs to use a little bit more so that kind right. of like how the uh um, the breaker, I don't know what it's called, the uh, pretty much get out of combo free card. Right. That also needs to be changed, um, I think. The it breakaways. uses two bars. Yeah, the breakaways. They they use two, but um, there's just something that kind of doesn't feel right about it when it gets thrown out there. So, yeah, definitely fatal or uh, flawless blocks need to be cost a little bit more. And I think they just need to look at breakaways and, I don't know, just alter it in some way maybe like like you said earlier maybe being available only once per round or yeah because maybe just not leading to a full punish because exactly. it's almost like you're almost punishing the opponent for comboing you yeah just <laughs> for, for playing the game <laughs> for doing like, the for making a right read and they're punishing you but then you punish that yeah it's just kind of it's a weird. little bit weird right now especially and it especially diminishes uh the i want to say skill level but the I don't know how to say this, like the tier level of, let's say like Baraka, like because he's a, he's so launcher heavy to do his combos that you want to make him as good as somebody who could do all their combos on the ground level and get right, roughly say, the same like, damage. Uh, that uh, the scorpion variation with the sword where it led to combo was grounded, that would be a lot more, have a lot more utility than, yeah, say a Baraka command grab that throws them into a juggle because you can get out of that you can't get out of any grounded combos in this game exactly yeah but yeah beta was a lot of fun um those are kind of just like the raw thoughts on it i'm mm -hmm. sure that we'll see a lot of changes quick um i had a lot of fun with scarlet i think she's going to be a really strong character in the game as far as like space control and zoning i know you use the baraka a lot i didn't really get a lot about him because i didn't use him i mean what what character was he kind of like what he fall into you think he fell into the kind of like brawler, just like raw damage if he can get his combos. He didn't really have a lot. I mean, he had a couple things to open you up, but pretty much I saw a lot of the time um, his low starter was his best. Um, he didn't really have like an overhead starter, so you'd kind of have to open him up with his like back two. And um, he did have a string that was overhead, but it was kind of easy to read when it was coming. Um, but pretty much if he hits like one of his combos, like it's going to be big damage, especially with the fatal uh or not the fatal blows but the crushing blows um so yeah. he's like big damage and he has space control with his uh spark so that was pretty cool that's what i liked about him yeah um i definitely can't wait to see everybody in the beta I, i'm sure there's going to be changes even from what we just saw in the stress test there's going to be major changes just in the beta um whether it's characters or gameplay I, i'm sure there's going to be something that is gonna you know they're, they're listening at least you know they, they're already talking about movement so i think they're definitely gonna have this game polished for everybody when it comes out yep and uh the beta is next week so stay tuned for that we're definitely gonna have more content coming out gonna be live streaming it um anything else you gotta say about the beta um yeah uh, i think that we 
have we mentioned it yet that we're going to do the giveaway for the two beta codes? Yeah, that's going to probably do a separate video for that, um, just so everyone can kind of just watch one video and not get like yeah, yeah. all our other stuff that we're talking about. But yeah, definitely going to be doing a giveaway for the beta next week, so that'll probably be the first video we post soon. Be on the lookout for that too. Yeah, yep, and also be on the lookout this Friday. Um, I don't. I believe it's C two E two in Chicago. Uh, Mortal Kombat is going to have a panel, and they're doing a character reveal and trailer for a new character that hasn't been confirmed yet. So probably safe to say it's going to be you know maybe like Aaron Black, Devora, um, somebody that they have knowledge is in in the game. Nothing from the leaks that they haven't talked about yet. Um, one that's probably been confirmed that's going to have their own trailer. And we're also going to get um, the first DLC character revealed on Friday. Nice. So excited. So excited to see who because, it is gonna be. yeah, is it going to be a guest character or is it going to be Mortal Kombat? If it falls in line with MKX, it's going to be a guest. Yeah, I definitely think it'll probably be a guest because I think if they drop a DLC character that's an Mortal Kombat character from like Armageddon or something, people are going to gripe, like, why weren't they in the game? You know what I mean? Maybe first right. they'll just ease into the fact that you got a guest character coming, someone who's never been in Mortal Kombat. Um, and then later on, they'll start dropping some Mortal Kombat characters when people already have the game and stuff. Right. And it's all also about marketing. I mean, they want more people to buy the game um, prior to the, like, at the release. So, of course, prior to the release, if they have a crazy guest character that everybody's going to go, yeah, I know that, I want to play as him, they're going to buy the game exactly so it's probably what we can expect michael myers spawn pennywise no clue as to what it could even be i think i don't really think we got any positive leaks other than just kind of rumors about michael myers and pennywise but yeah nothing for sure since could see but um we will definitely have a video out on that too this weekend so be on the lookout for that make sure you're subscribed and uh, go ahead and leave a like on this video if you did enjoy, and we'll be back with some more content. we got a lot of things we want to talk about. going to be dropping a lot of videos, so just make sure you're subscribed and uh, you keep up to date. I think that'll do it. Yeah, that should wrap everything up. Um, just one more, I think, that another video to look out for is we've got a lot of clips from the beta still that we want to put into maybe like one combination video. Or maybe we'll wait, put it with the other clips from the beta, but that'll also be on the way. Yep. So uh, until next time, guys, deuces. Yep, see ya.